Right, so we've got a brand new HID kit. First we have our, obviously my bulbs, H1 LED bright uh, bulbs, 5K brightness, which is a pure white brightness. If you go for a 6K, it becomes with a light blue tinge and white. It's going to come with two ballasts, uh, 55 watts, um, LED lights, the cables that connect to it. So you're going to have these go into these, and then you're going to obviously have this go into that. And then you're going to have two excess wires, which is supposed to go onto the stock unit, uh, which you can find here. So it's one terminal here and another terminal here. I don't know where the second one goes, um, so we're going to have to find out. See how we go. So this whole kit cost me about 20 bucks, $20 for this kit. That's why I opted for it. I could have gone the 6K, but it should be enough because obviously one of my uh, LED bulbs are broken, as you can see. So I opted, so instead of buying two bulbs themselves, uh, here's the bulb, guys, as you can see. Uh, it's cracked just in there. Okay, so I'm going to opt out and get another one. So as you can see side by side, they are a little bit different. Reasons why you would do this is to obviously get a brighter light. Um, so there you go. Alright, so let's do this. Get to there. And you just need to remove radiator reservoir somewhere else. So then that way you have room to get into here. I'll pop it in. So what you need to do is connect. Uh, the frame so you can mount it up to somewhere Okay, then you need to connect the cables To the bulb to the ballast Go into these two cables cable goes there cable goes there plug and play. It's pretty basic pretty straightforward um, And then you just need to connect these two cables I'm assuming the black cable is going to be a ground and then the red one is going to go into the normal unit itself So we're going to find out in a second All right to give you guys what you guys have missed um, I ended up taking out the cables um, and I'm going to try and give you guys a step-by-step -step of how it looked like in the beginning. So, in the beginning, so obviously first thing you need to do is remove this cap. To remove this cap, there is a little hinge which you will need to take off. So, what you need to do is, so you know, you need to take it out this way. So, away from you, will unlock it and to do it tight towards you. So, when it's inside, to give you guys an idea, um, it will sit um, just in oh fuck inside here if I, I have to give you guys an idea this will be inside here um, and then you should so just in here and then you should see the little hinge on the side just like that so it'll be just there so that is where you need to go so just here where those cables are hanging out it'll be in there it'll hang like this and you just need to push it down to be able to get that out once you've taken this out put it aside you will see the bulb inside. So to be able to get to that bulb and to remove it, there is a little wire um, that's in there. Um, extremely hard to show you just here. So to remove this, you need to lock it in and you need to push it out whichever way it's from. So for example, from this one, um, this one would have to be pushed down and then pushed out. So down and out. So that way it's, it's, like, a, um, it's like a four connector clip like that then you just need to press it and then down and then release it out something like that and once you have there should be two little cables that will hang out um, which will obviously for be this red cable and the black cable i only thought there was only the red cable which was connected originally to the bulb uh, but it seems like there are two cables um, as you can see here one has a little rubber clip just here and if you dig deeper in you'll find this one in there as well uh, which did take me a little while to get out. So what I'm going to do now is obviously two cables, two cables, put them in, test them first and see if they work. And if they work, just reinstall it the same way. And then we should be good. All right, guys, moment of truth. I'm going to try and mount my phone somewhere so you guys can see it. I'll, mount, I'll just fucking put it here. All right. Leave it there. Moment of truth, all I'm going to do is now is turn it on. So, low beams. And it's on.
There you go, guys. And that is a working light. That shit's bright as a motherfucker. All right, it might look blue in the video, but it's actually white. Um, if I pull it back a little bit, so it definitely is bright and white, guys. And that's how you do it. All you need to do is mount it up. So I'm just going to quickly turn it off again. Um, and to mount it, all you need to do is find a location for it. As you can see, you have the bracket to do that. Uh, personally, there is a little mount just here. Option two, you can mount it on an existing mount, so you can find somewhere else to mount it up on your car. Um, I'm assuming this is going to be universal for most people. Um, but that's it. Best place for me would be there, probably the, where the ground is, connected to the, the engine. Uh, but there you go, guys. That's how you do it. All you got to do is reinstall it. It should be good. The other side should be the same. Um, I'll give you guys a brief idea on how to do the other side as well, uh, just to make sure they both work and we're good to go. Bumper and the headlight. So if you look on the inside, it's still everything's still connected like normal. Lights are in there. Um, it goes nice little clean look. Goes to where all the other cables go into. It goes all the way down and just in here goes down into here and I've mounted it just on this little bracket here. So original bracket came with the HID bulb. I just put a 10 mil bolt now that I had spare just here. I was considering attaching it to here, but all the grounds are here. I wanted to attach it to here, but it wasn't long enough for the ballast. Um, so I mounted it just here. And that is just underneath the headlight. Uh, let me just zoom out. Okay guys, so just under here, headlight right underneath all the original negative terminals, airbox, um, and it's just here, that's where I mounted it. I was considering putting it here, but the cable length wasn't long enough for me to twist it around so it mounted onto the mount. Um, you could use this original uh, alarm mount just here as well, um, but you can pretty much put it anywhere. You can cable tie it as well, but obviously by the cable tying it, it will become loose where this one's very solid. Um, but that, I'm going to show you guys a quick idea on a reflection and that's how it looks reflected on me. So it's a nice pure white colour. So guys make sure you like and subscribe if you liked it and I hope I helped. Cheers!